So are trade tensions and weak global growth setting us up for possible interest rate cuts or worse, a recession? Joining us to talk about it, Mark Avalon is the president of Potomac Wealth Advisors. Mark, good to see you. Thanks for joining us tonight. Good to be here. The bond market's job is to anticipate, and right now it anticipates a slowdown. So interest rates have gone down, but the Fed typically waits for evidence of a slowdown before it moves. Is it possible the Fed this time will cut rates just because the, the bond market's anticipating a slowdown? Well, it's something they're looking at. But remember, first quarter GDP was over 3% in the U.S. Right. And the Fed in the fourth quarter last year, just a few months ago, was, was raising rates. So I think to expect them to cut in June is just a little much. I think the only thing we might see in the direction of accommodation is maybe a, a tone or, or a change in, in, in the projection of what they're, what they're letting the markets get a hint of and get an idea. But I don't see a rate cut in June. All right. Now, the backdrop is also slowing global growth. The Fed has to look at that as well, does it not? European banks are having issues and, you know, their economies are not doing well. Yeah, well, we've had slowing uh, European financials and tough, tough sledding over there for some time. But certainly with the tariff talk and the trade um, skirmishes that we're having around the globe, it's bringing down growth further. And that is a concern, especially when the German Bund is yielding negative 20 mm -hmm. compared to our rates. So the Fed is going to be pressured to look at a global slowdown, and they are looking at that and will process that. But again, what you seem to be saying is you think it's premature for the Fed funds futures market, the interest rate market, to anticipate a maybe a 50 percent possibility of a cut in September and a 97 percent possibility of a cut in December. You think that's premature? Well, I think it's premature because that's September and December. I'm concerned about the talk about June rate cuts. Right. June is not going to happen. That's way too soon. I think they're going to look at what the trade talk progress is. Remember, if this, if we get a, even a little trade deal, some positive news, and those tariffs go away, even if the deal is watered down, the markets are going to like that. If we can get some normalcy, I think that helps growth here as well as in China. And I think that keeps the, the Fed away from raising rates. I think it's a wait and see game for China for the most part right now. And very quickly, if you're a long-term investor, what do you do in this ever-changing environment? Well, I mean, you could tweak a little bit with the low rates into dividend stocks, but really those are minor adjustments. People should not be reacting to headlines. You should have your plan in place before the news changes because these ups and downs are inevitable. Mark Avalone with Potomac Wealth Advisors. Again, thanks for joining us tonight. Good to be here.